All right, you ready? Ah! Out! Ah! Hey, guys. Who are you? Howdy, y'all. My name is Andy King, and welcome to King's Comics. I've just finished watching Into the Spider-Verse, and I'm not a movie critic. I'm not even a comic critic. I just really enjoy reading comic books and seeing comic book characters on screen. So please understand where I'm coming from when I say that after watching Into the Spider-Verse, I highly, highly recommend this film. I don't really know what to say other than that. It is a perfect example of how a Spider-Man as well as comic book movie should be handled, especially since it's embracing some of the more abstract elements of comic book universes or characters. It can get weirder. Such as having multiple Spider-Man on screen for the first time in history. This is something that's been realized and just very hard to pull off. How do you contemplate the idea of there being two different Peter Parkers in the same universe as well as Miles Morales as well as Spider-Ham. It's a very very hard thing to pull together and I have to give my prop to the directors and all those involved for being able to seamlessly stitch this together as well as realize it in an animated sense. The fact that an animated Spider-Man movie is one of the best superhero movies I've ever seen is incredible. The animation was incredible. They managed to pull off this comic book feeling look to the whole thing, this aesthetic that just really made me feel like a kid just watching these characters brought from page to screen. You're gonna love this. That being said, this film has a lot of heart to it too as we see not just one but five or six different origin stories for various Spider-Man throughout the Marvel Universe or at least the Sony version of the Marvel Universe. This is just an incredible portrayal to be able to see this on screen as we watch all of these Spider-Men come into their own, having to work together to make it back to their own universes, their own dimensions, and seeing what happens in the Ultimate Universe after the fallout of Peter Parker's death in this universe with a young Miles Morales in middle school having to step up to bat. It's an original and fresh take on the Spider-Man origin story that we have never gotten to see on screen before especially with consideration to him having to learn from a much more experienced, beaten Peter Parker from a different reality. I highly encourage seeing this film, and it's got enough content in it for any level of comic book movie or superhero fan. I'm not a movie critic. I can't rate this film effectively because I have so much bias with respect to loving Spider-Man as a character, loving and growing up with the comics, as well as just having too much fun seeing this movie. So I would highly just encourage and recommend you see it for yourself. Form your own opinion and above all else, have fun doing it. This is a rewarding movie to see just because the visuals, aesthetic, animation, whatever you want to say, is just so amazing to see brought before your eyes, as well as just the attention to detail with these characters, their interactions, as well as their backstories. It wasn't a movie I was expecting to go in and feel or have an emotional reaction to, but hey, here I am, talking about it a couple of minutes after seeing it. But, just go see the movie. And if you have any suggestions or feedback on today's video, please drop a note down below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Or maybe you want to follow up discussion on my dissected thoughts as well as the breakdown of the movie and Easter eggs caught. I'm going to try to hit that up too. And if you really like today's video, please hit the like or subscribe button. And if you really, really liked it, Share it to Facebook, share it to your friends and family. I ain't complaining. That's all I got. I'm Andy King. We got more content soon, and thank you for tuning in to King's Comics. I love you. <laughs> Wait, what?